hope another day another dollar thank the lord for another 24 god i knew that was you i'm just finishing up with the leg workout leg day the best day man getting that money getting that muscle man but quick video though we talking about a term that a lot of y'all probably are familiar with you know i try to when i'm online reading or i'm you know reading my books i like to try to explore different topics different ways of thinking you know a lot of y'all probably are familiar with this term monk mode you know it's like a it's like a state of mind where it's like you you're in tunnel vision and you you tune out a lot of distractions a lot of bullshit a lot of time wasters around you and it's like you lock in 110 percent on your goals your task at hand whatever it is you're trying to accomplish in life and you know i didn't even know i was doing monk mode you know years before i even discovered what it was you know to me i just call it get on your hustle don't stop till you get to where you're trying to be in life you know i always been highly disciplined highly motivated you know highly self-motivated i didn't need nobody to give me a push you know i was the type in high school i'm 16 17 years old i was the type i would walk catch the bus or ride my bike or bum a ride from my mom or like you know somebody else just so i can go lift weights you know what i'm saying my train one of my trainers i had two different trainers right one of them he did the speed and agility i played football and i played college football so he did the speed and the agility part working on my speed my quickness uh my change of direction stuff like that then my other my other trainer he lived probably like 10 minutes driving from my mom's house i played football with his son he was like a world power lifter. He had a, a big ass gym in his garage at his house. So I was the type, I would walk in the rain. I didn't give a fuck. I was trying to, I was determined, man. You know, I was like, I was not running the streets. I didn't care about shit. When I was in high school, it said football, school, and lifting weights. That's all I cared about. If I can go back in time, I would have skipped my prom. I would have skipped homecomings graduation i would have skipped all that shit just so i can go lift weights you know what i'm saying that's a big part of what i do and i'm still that same way 22 years later you know look at all the 2024 I, I probably didn't take off but maybe i don't even know bro i i worked out damn near every day all of 2024 you know what i'm saying and some days i worked out twice a day you know so i still got that same hustle that same tenacity and that same discipline you know, that I had when I was a kid, you know, I'm 35, 20, 23 years later, still on the grind, you know, it's like, it's a lifestyle. So what that monk mode is going to do, it's going to explode your productivity because when you get in that mode, you get in that groove, it's like you start to, you start the tunnel vision and you start to tune out a lot of, a lot of bullshit and a lot of time waster. That's the thing. A lot of people around you, they ain't talking about shit. They just in the way. They don't even know it. You know, you got people, man, they want you to go hang out. They want you to pull up to the function, the kickbacks. Oh, it's like, man, oh, you got your, your wife, your girlfriend, some shit. Oh, why you always go to the gym? Why you always do that? Shit like that, man. You know, this is what I like to do. That's a part of who I am. You know, if I ever get into a relationship, she going to have to understand that what I do is go to the gym damn near five six days a week it just is what it is don't try to change me don't try to change who i am that's a part of who i am you know i may have to find me a girl who's big into fitness too you know we can go together something like that you know i'm, I'm willing to compromise you know and if i'm in a relationship family time you know i'm gonna still spend time with the missus the kids you know we go out to eat we take vacations but don't try to you know to stop me from doing something that i love don't ever in your life try to let somebody stop you from doing some shit you love man they love you they will want to see you happy and see you doing the things that you love you know what i'm saying don't ever get in that predicament man i when i'm at the gym i'm like this don't even call me don't even call my phone i ain't gonna answer it just is what it is, man. If it's an emergency, you text me or some shit, man, I'll, make, I'll answer them. But other than that, when I'm at the gym, that's like my sanctuary, you know? That's, that's all I know. It's a, like I said, it's a lifestyle for me, you know? But when you get in that monk mode too, it allows you to cut out a lot of the fluff in your life. Like I said, 
you're going to start to see, man, a lot of people, they're not good for you. They're not beneficial for you. Only time they call you is when they're trying to turn up, go to happy hour, go to the club, boys or girls night out, shit like that, man. They don't ever call you when it's time to go to the gym or when it's time to talk about this business idea or some shit that's going to potentially change all of y'all's lives for the better. You know, you got this idea. You know, they ain't trying to hear that. Them type of people, man, I don't got time for it, man. That's why I just distance myself you know, and I try to try to stay in my bubble and it's like, I, I've just been working, man. That's all I've been doing. I've just been locked in. I've had, you know, these periods of insane productivity. I got some days, man, I look back this past year and some change where it's like, I've been able to come home on the weekend, you know, my night off, I get a good night. I've been able to record like 10 YouTube videos. Like I'm talking about bam, 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 knocking them out. 10 minute plus long videos. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand if y'all know like any of y'all that do that are YouTubers, you know, that make videos that's like long form content, how hard that may be. A lot of people, they shit, it's hard enough just making one video. You know, some people, it may take them a week. I'm able, I, I've been times where I'm able to like, record 10 videos in one night and i may i may sit down after that and edit a couple of them and get them uploaded and scheduled to post at a future date that's what monk mode is going to do to you you know you got you got to start tuning out a lot of distractions a lot of time wasters i fall i fell back a lot on the dating scene you know versus when i was in my 20s to now when i'm in my 30s you know i used i was i was still productive and I would still get done shit I used, I needed to get done in my life. But when I was in my 20s, you know, I went out I went out clubbing more, you know. I, I was chasing ass, you know, trying to get up with females. These days, I'm like, shit, I ain't even trying to kick it with no female. I, I, uh, I'm the type, uh, I'm supposed to go somewhere with a female. We plan a date and she canceled on me at the last minute. I'm like kind of relieved. I'm like, cool, I can stay my ass at the crib. Shit, cook, order me some Chinese food, something like that, and work on this content, work on these videos. I'm locked in on my mission. That's what monk mode is going to do for you. It's going to have you like so determined and so focused on what it is you want out of life, what it is you are trying to accomplish. It's like you that you're not even going to be focused on other shit. When you get time, then you will focus on that shit. Put your dreams and what you want out of your life first and foremost. Chase what it is you trying to get out of life, man. Stop putting other people, other situations on a pedestal ahead of you. You know what I'm saying? I've never been the type to put anybody else or a situation or circumstance above what I want out of life. It's always got to be about me. It's got to be about you and what you want. Like when you look in that mirror and that person in the mirror staring back at you, you know, you got to sit down and be able to say, man, I'm going after what it is I want out of life. It's about me. I'm in the fucking driver's seat, not nobody else. I'm not putting my dreams on hold. What makes me happy? I'm not putting it in the back seat for somebody else. No, sir. It just ain't going to happen. You know, you got to put your happiness above anybody in there. I don't care who it is, you know, fucking uh, family, females, the husband, the wife, the girlfriend, the boyfriend, the kids, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, it's not It's not that I'm like saying that I don't love my family and my friends. You know, I just won't put anybody above me being happy. If I'm not happy, then nothing, then nothing is going to shake. You know what I'm saying? What I look like not being happy in my own life. You know, I'm born by myself. I'm going to die by myself. And I don't know when I'm going to die. You don't know when you're going to die. You might not be here tomorrow. You know, you can put your happiness and what it is you want out of life on hold for somebody else. And you like, I'll get to it at a later date. That later date might not even fucking come. You might fucking die tomorrow. You could die tonight. You could fucking die right now. A motherfucker could sneak up right now. A motherfucker shoot my ass in the head. It's over. You know what I'm saying? That's why I try to live my best life today. I got to do it today now, you know, and I may not have everything that I want. I might not have everything I desire, but I practice gratitude and I'm grateful for everything I got today. And you know, the shit might not be perfect, but it's damn far, you know, from a bad situation. I'm in a good situation in my life. You know, I got a peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? That staying focused and locked in on my goals is spilling over. It's spilled over into other aspects of my life. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not going out as much, so I'm saving money. I'm able to save more money. You know, my mental toughness is up through the roof. My ability to say no to shit. People be asking me, oh, you want to pull up? You want to go to this function, this and that, man? You keep trying to kick it. To I'm cool. I'm just trying to stay my ass at the crib. I got shit to do. You know, if I ain't got my daughter and shit on the weekend, I'm working. I'm at work, working this overtime. I'm at the gym getting this money, man. Recording this content. Working on these videos. That's all the thing on my mind right now. I ain't got time for shit else, man. Fuck all that other shit, man. That shit, I done done that shit. That shit been there. I'm trying to get some shit now that I ain't never had in life. So I got to lock in even harder and do some shit I never done. You got to do some shit that most people ain't willing to do. Most people ain't feeling to just trying to goddamn put shit to the side. That's the fun shit and sacrifice now so they can get to a place that most people will never get to. It just it is, is what it is. Most people are just content with just doing enough, just being average. That's, and that's why they're going to be average. That's why they're going to be mediocre. You know, the, the masses, it's just like a fucking NFL game. You got 100,000 people in the crowd. They spectating. They watching. They eating popcorn, hot dog glizzy. It's only 22 players on the field chasing their dreams. That's how you got to look at your life. You got to do shit that most people ain't willing to do, ain't trying to do. Most people just satisfied with doing the bare metal, just getting by. I say, fuck all that. I'm trying to get ahead in life. It ain't just about getting by. It's about getting head ahead in life, man. That's what we own. That's what that monk mode going to do for you, man. If you haven't heard of that, I highly encourage you to start doing your research on it, man. You know, there's different levels of monk mode, too. You know, you got an extreme level where it's like you cut out all distractions. It's like you don't have no sex for months, all this type of shit. You like work out every day, meditate. I'm not going that extreme, you know, man. I'm like, shit, I'm, I'm doing good in life. I'm not finna just cut out sex like all together for like some months. You know what I'm saying? I get to it when I get to it. You know, I'm not finna put no female on no pedestal and like be missing my money or missing the gym, just chasing some ass. You know, I'm going to get the money and I'm going to hit the gym first. And then shit, if it's time in the evening after that, she could pull up or shit like that. But you know what I'm saying? It's different levels to it, though. You know what I'm saying? Start off with what you can handle, you know. But you, if you start introducing it into your life, man, I think it's going to benefit you a lot. You're going to see a, a big difference in your life, how you carry in yourself, you being able to be more productive and get shit done. When you start canceling out shit, you know, when me, when shit ain't, the math ain't math and shit ain't starting to add up, I start subtracting. You got to start subtracting shit out your life, man. Time wasters. People that ain't going across the street, they wasting time. They ain't got the same ambition, same goals as you. Everybody can't go where you trying to go. I realized that shit years ago. When I started to elevate in life and really started having success, and chasing my dream, I started to lose people. People started getting lost in the, in the sauce. It just is what it is, man. Everybody is not going in the same direction of you. Your job is to be like a bus driver when it comes to your life. What you see when you see a bus driver, when he's driving the bus. He's driving. He's driving around town. People are getting on the bus. You know they may ride for five, ten minutes till they stop coming. Then they get off the bus. The bus driver's job is to keep driving no matter what. He stop, people get on or people get off, he keeps driving no matter what till he gets to the end of his route. You get to your goals in life. You know, that's what I'm saying. That's how you need to compare this shit, man. Be like the bus driver. I just keep going. Don't stop. Don't let nobody get in your way. Don't let nobody hold you back. Keep fucking going. That's what it's all about. That's how you're going to make it. That's how you're going to rewrite your circumstances. That's how you're going to break them generational curses, man. You're going to prove all them people wrong that doubted you, that counted you out. All them losses you going to, you took in life, they're going to be minute. They're going to cancel each other out in comparison to the success that you're about to reach, man. Once you start to lock in and you just get on go mode, you just got to focus. You know, and the younger you can do this shit, the better. And I want to leave y'all with this, man, before I close out this video. I'm not saying not to enjoy your life not to have fun you have to enjoy the fruits of your labor you have to balance the shit out you can't be all work and no play you know what i'm saying me 
you know, I still make time to enjoy the shit I like to do. I go to the gym. I go out to eat. I take trips and vacations out the country. I like to smoke my cigars, watch my shows when I have time, you know. But I put that shit on the back burner. I got to get the work done first. You know, I got to get what I'm trying to accomplish, my goal, my mission in life, my passion, my vision. I had to get that shit done first before it's time for playtime. If I don't get the work done, fuck the playtime. I do that shit tomorrow. I done had, I done, you know, I done took plenty trips already. I done been with plenty women. You know, I done did all the partying, going to the clubs, the bars, man, New Year's Eve celebrations, man, watching the bar drop, everybody drinking champagne. I done done all that shit. I got to get my goals. I got some shit and some goals I'm trying to accomplish. So if I don't, if I don't get to that shit, I'll put all that shit on hold. That shit can wait, man. I'm like a mad man. I'm like a fucking scientist, experiment, man, whatever is going to get me to where I'm trying to be in life the fastest, you know? Ain't no rush, though, neither, man. Ain't no rush. I want to move correctly. I want the shit to be right. I ain't trying to take no shortcuts the easy way. I want to get that shit, and when I do get that shit, I could be proud and say I grinded for it. I sacrificed for it, and now all my hard work, all my dedication, all those long nights, all those weekends, staying up to two, three in the morning, working on these videos, you know, staying out the way, staying focused, is finally starting to pay off. I'm starting to get my flowers and to get my blessings. Y'all like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, at the Ghetto Bodybuilder. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, at the Ghetto Bodybuilder. I got the merchandise for sale. Shop with me on my website. This one of my shirts right here, high off a of pre-workout powder. Man, y'all know I'm big into the gym. That's what I be. That's what. That's the main thing I do. I go to the gym down there every day, man. I got a lot of hoodies, t-shirts, gym, fitness, motivational, related merchandise. Check it out, man. Y'all got any comments, man? Any input on this video? Drop a comment. Any ideas or topics for future videos y'all want me to do? Drop a comment, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Y'all know how we coming. Let's get motivated. Boop.